the time has come. Your house had uh, was blessed by a cook. Yeah. Now it's time for you to take the blessing to another house. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So, are you scared of any anything she might throw at you, like a curry or something? I'm just scared about her recipe. That the thing that makes me nervous, but. I've got nothing to be afraid of. There will be instructions how I must do the meal or how I must prepare it. So for me, I'll just read it and then I'll just go along with it. And uh, you, you don't mind to serve, uh, like uh, serve the family. It's nice. Uh, no, to I don't serve mind. The whole group. Uh, no, I, I don't it. mind as long as I'm going to serve something that they will enjoy, something that is really looking nice. I don't mind. Even I can serve 50 people. So even if you've got a 50 member family, you're ready? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're here. Are you ready? Let's do it. Mandilake heads into a home he's never been in to cook a recipe he's never seen. At least he already knows Jane. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. hello, hello. How, are how are you? How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm Good. Fine, thanks. How are you nice. feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great to see you again. Excited. Again, I'm excited. <laughs> As you were on Saturday. Okay, good. Oh, good. I, see you. I was introducing to my family. This okay. is my daughter. Hello. Hey. This is Karis. Hello, Karis. Hello. How, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks, India. I'm good. And this okay. is my husband, Dennis. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Chief, India. Thanks, yeah. It's good to see you. It's good. Lovely to meet you. Are you ready? I'll take you through. I've never been ready, so we might as well get okay. to it. Let's go. Mandy. Hi. Welcome to the kitchen. Okay. And this is your recipe. My recipe, okay. Let's hope it's not something difficult. <laughs> Please just take my nerves away. <laughs> I can say if you gave me your recipe, your recipe, I can meet halfway. If it's something that I'm, I'm familiar with, it's something that I'm confident that it would work. It's something that I trust my ability and also my ancestors that this can work and then I'm going for it. But if it's not, nah, I think I'll put it aside. Is it? Mm, it's red chicken curry. I really didn't expect this like this dish. Have you made a red chicken curry <laughs> before? I never. Have you tasted one? Mm. A mm. Thai chicken curry? I think so, but I don't know. I'm not sure. It was a long time ago. Thai chicken curry. I love Asian food. I've traveled to Thailand and Malaysia, and that's where I fell in love with hot stuff, lemongrass, ginger, chilies. Do you like spicy food? Chilies? Mm, yes, chilies, yes. I'm, um, Something that is chili, I'm, I'm familiar with, so okay. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, when it comes to chili, yo, chili, yo, uh, I, I, so help you God, people maybe <laughs> enjoy your food, but yo, if not, because the thing is that the other people that eat like a hot thing are people that have a hangover. You see, when you have a hangover, you actually want something that is hot, you see, something that will blow your head away, and then you say, nah, the babalas is gone now. Yeah, thanks to you, the babalas is gone. So, actually, you're not cooking for someone who has babalas, you're not cooking for someone who's in the choir. Who actually is cooking for us to give us something that is hot? No, 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 get out of here, man. Just leave the pot. Try another thing. Try another thing. Excellent. It's going to be a hell over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then all your ingredients are in the, in the yeah. bags. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, too much. <laughs> okay. For the, for the curry paste, you're going to need a blender. a blender. So I've just put the stick blender here for you. It's very important that they make their own paste. So it can't be shop bought. They can't just go to spa and get any old little tar paste. It's got to be made with fresh ingredients and mince down and pureed and then they've got to use that fresh paste otherwise it's going to be generic okay all knives and forks and things right. are in there yes and wooden spoons yeah and then there's your stove this, but you'll just need the top oh the top one yeah okay yeah don't worry about the oven okay. and then in the cupboard on the right there it's plates glasses pots there's some pots there and there's there's a wok there for the curry okay so I'm going to do with, with I'm going to use that for the curry. You're gonna use oh, that. Okay. I'll shout if I'm having any problem. Okay. And then if you're kind enough to help me. Okay. I think I'll shout because this will be my first ever to cook the I dish think like you'll this. You'll be fine. Just just read through it calmly and okay. um, you'll probably amaze yourself. Okay, okay. Fine. Okay. okay. Call me if you need me. Okay, I will <laughs> let's <laughs> let's get into this. Okay. Alright, Mandilake. Mr. Rome. Did she explain it to you? Like, this is what you've got to work with. This is your kitchen. Yes. This is your domain for the next 10 hours. Yeah. 10? <laughs> no, it can't be. It can't be. As many as you need. All right. Yeah, so basically, once you start, it's like a roller coaster. You don't finish. 
not so fast, it's not a roller coaster. <laughs> we have to see first because this will be my first time, like my really first time, like red chicken curry. And I've never saw like someone cook it like in front of me. It's not something that I can, I, like I can adapt. It's something that is, it's a, quite challenging. Okay. This is where I feel the heat. This is a challenge. I have to be open and then I have to be relaxed and try to follow the procedure and then do my things. All right, let's uh, let you unpack and then get started. Yes. We've got country range, fillet, uh, fresh chicken, it's uh, fillets. We've got our legs. Oh, ginger. Mm. What is this? First time I've seen this. Also some lemon to bring the, the flavor. Oh, leaves. I think we've got two packets of this. We've got the paprika over here, something that will be chili. Mm, let's hope I'm not going to add too much so people can enjoy the food. And also our oil. Um, fish sauce, yeah, so many ingredients, yeah, okay, and also we've got some leaves over here, and the third leaves, uh, chilies, wow, this is going to be really a hot dish, also a lemongrass, coconut milk, oh, red onion, oh, when last did I see these, I think when my cousin visited me from Cape Town, our garlic, it's actually a spice, some people will think it's a weed, but no, it's also a spice. So I'm going to read how I'm going to do it because this, it, there's a lot here. There's a lot, but I'm hoping my, it's going to give me like the procedure how I must do this. Try to become, to try to become as I am and then, and then good to go, so. Already feeling the heat, so to speak, Mandilake starts his prep. Soak our, our jasmine rice. So long before I, I chop my veg. Oh, nice knives. So I can't cook rice. Rice is something for now, you see. So and people, people will be telling you like the traditional. No man, rice it doesn't make me feel like, like really like it makes just for me for just thirty minutes and then I'll be hungry. All right, okay, it's closer. Okay, let it cut. I've never used this rice before, so I don't know whether how long do it takes to get ready. Uh, let's soak it. I hope it, it will be enough for everyone because it seems like it won't be enough. One small red onion chopped. So fortunately, this show made me like made me to try this onion because I wanted to try it first into the house. But now, uh, okay. Find the difference between this onion and the normal onion. Uh, using the purple onion, I would say it didn't make any difference to me. Ah, uh, done that. Okay. Okay, from there we've got three cloves garlic, uh, lemon grass, and then we have to chop them. Turn brain for two. Wow, guys. Uh, how does it taste like it was my first time even seeing this? That's why the dish in the restaurant are so expensive. <laughs> because you can see someone can put these two things for, for 10 rand and then imagine how much it will cost per plate. Got uh, a three teaspoon of chopped fresh Korean roots. Okay, I believe. These. So far, Mandilake seems to be handling the unfamiliar herbs very well. It really smells nice. It doesn't smell like it's coming from the shop. It smells so fresh. I would definitely say the difference between our two meals is that the, the Thai curry works with a lot of fresh flavors that are and, and fresh ingredients. So you've got your lemongrass and you've got your, your ginger and you've got your garlic and it's all it's all kind of alive. Very distinctive flavors. and. In Mandy's recipe, there were lots of packaged spices that have been dried already um, and things like aromats. So it's, it's not as, um, as fresh, so they're completely different flavors and, and very difficult to kind of get used to those flavors if it's not what you're used to. And then two teaspoons of chili. For someone, when you have a hangover, you won't get too much. This is the, this is the, no, this is the magic. I love the smell of ginger. They say it's one variety. So, mean, one means like something like this. Okay. Wow. Wow. It's a half teaspoon of human seeds. Yeah. Guys, if the police can see you carry this, I'm telling you, you're going to sleep in jail. And then we'll be trying to explain. No, it's not. No. Guys, we're in South Africa. You are turmeric powder. It's a teaspoon of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is our shrimp page. Okay. 
Okay. Mandelakia adds ingredients, checking the flavors as he goes. Yeah. 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 That smell. That smell of the fish paste. Yeah. What? <laughs> You're the first time I'm using this. Listen, I don't know anyone who likes shrimp paste. I don't know. I don't even know what you think, but I'm telling you, it doesn't, it doesn't smell so nice. If you did like it, I would have been very surprised. Three spoons of paprika. Wow, this is going to be a hot dish, I'm telling you. Like, people that are singing, they usually love to eat hot stuff. So I have to ask him, or, like, are you cooking for someone who's singing or not? Because this thing is actually for someone who's in the choir, is it? If, if I was having my friends over here, they would be like, man, man, we are not in the choir, please don't use that too much. <laughs> yes. When you're cooking with chilli, it's, it's nice to have a bit of a burn, but also not to burn your mouth off. It must have flavour, it mustn't just be hot. Three spoons of oil, okay. No, I'm going to, to grate this and then I have to take out the, the grounded leaves of it and then it's my first time using this. I've always seen and I've, I've always wanted to use this because I've never used it before. Hello. Hi, hi. How are you doing, Mandy? Uh, I can say I'm cooking so far. While I was opening, I was just ganged by the smell of it. Oh. Yo, I was like, yo, what is this? It's like yeah. a rotten fish paste. Uh, it's not good. And <laughs> also, it's my first time using this rice, jasmine yeah. rice of yours. Well, I can, give you a, I can give you a clue. It doesn't have to be a lifeline. Uh, I, but you know what the other name for jasmine rice is? is Sticky rice. Sticky rice. He offered a lot of advice without me even asking when I was in his house and in his kitchen. Yeah, it's a new challenge so it's like almost the opposite of when you make normal like normal rice. rice. You don't yes. want it to be sticky and clumpy. Okay. But this, it's a bit like the same. Mm. You see. I could I could hear at times he was struggling a bit with how it was supposed to be, and then I was more than happy to help. Yeah, Yo, you even use the the if you look up there the next bigger size. Yeah, next bigger size. Yeah. Okay. Then you, that will probably be better. Let's see. Because it does swell up. Perfect. Thank you. Carry on. Enjoy. Okay. okay. It's my first time cooking it, and I don't really want to mess it up. So, try to put it on the heat. Uh, yeah, this is not not pretend anything. So for me, uh, as we have put our rice, let's try to see the heat is not. I think it's okay until you do bring water and salt to boil. It's, it's half minus one teaspoon. What is that? A half a teaspoon? We are here finishing our our curry paste. I think we are we are we are done. And then from there we mix this. For the first time in his life, Mandilake blends a long list of fresh ingredients, powders, and pastes into a red Thai curry paste. So far, so good. I don't know how, like how it must be ready because since I said it was first time doing this dish, so. If you've got the paste, the rest of the recipe is actually very simple, but the most important thing is obviously having that authentic Thai paste. All right, how's it going? Hey, I don't know about this, but I think I'm going to use my lifeline over here because I was expecting something to be like liquid. Let's exercise your lifeline, okay? I'll be back. Okay. Hey, Mandy. Hi, hi, Jean. Are you having a bit of travel there? I was expecting something that would be a liquid, but to me it seems like it's... It... No, you know what? This is, this is how it must be. This is how it must this be, This is okay. how it must be. His paste was perfect. You didn't even have to ask me. So it must be quite thick. It must be a paste. Yes. Because when you're going to cook it, you're going to put it in with yeah. your oil. Okay. And you're going to keep stirring, stirring the flavours in. Too. It must be thick oh, like that. Okay. So you've done it the right way. Once you can't see any big chunks anymore. And then I can... Then you're I'm ready. Good. I'm good to go. Okay. Ready. okay. Thank okay. you, Jane. Just... Carry on. Carry okay. on. Okay. Thank you. Doing a good job. If you're saying so, I'm on a right track then. Let me be. <laughs> Thank you. I think you did a pretty good job. Mm, the recipe was not like clear, but hence, I helped her like in, in, in my recipe and then she was glad and then I, I was hoping she would return the favor, which is she did. It's ready now. I think so. A at least I've, I've seen someone making a smoothie, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like a curry smoothie. If it's not your, I'm apologizing to the fam. I'm worried about this right since I said I've never cooked it before. Yeah. And now to cook with the wok he's also never used before. Before we're heating up our, our pan with the oil, we'll use these fillets. Fillets. This is my first time using fillets, but they seem soft and fresh, so I'm hoping it won't be long. Okay, um, I'm going to cut them again, these pieces, because as you, as you see, like, are quite big. I'm going to put it in the pan for 
for two minutes you can't expect something like this will change its color or will be fine with just two minutes so i have to cut the i have to cut down the pieces hey i'm not sure about this device. the unfamiliar ingredients combinations and processes have mandelake double checking himself a few times this cup, this cup. I full of it i don't think so let me just let me just and see where will, where will that lead me Uh, I think my ancestors on this one were there, even even though no, I think they were there because it it made me halfway because I end up add again a little bit and then actually it turned out just fine. So that's where I've seen. Oh no, they've got my back. They have got my back. I was right. With all the preparation done, it's time to get cooking. Mandilake adds the shallots fries about two minutes until fragrant and then adds one third of the freshly prepared red curry paste. So for now we are busy with this. He adds the chicken so that it can absorb the flavor as it fries until tender. I think I'm going to leave it just for a while. I'll reserve the remaining curry paste, okay? I think I should add it now. It looks good. I don't know whether it should be added water or what. I'm worried about my rice, my rice though. The thing is that I never seen the dish before, and so I was trying by all means to to try to get to the right track. It's funny when you've been doing a recipe and baking something as often as you do, you just take for granted how simple it is. But when someone else does it for the first time and they're not used to what it's supposed to end up like, suddenly it seems quite complicated. My sugar level is getting down, guys. So I need this. It's a it's a taste of Thai a fish sauce. Wow, if you see guys like I'm busy with things from Asian over here. How's the flavor? Ah, uh, it's not specify how long should I add it, but yeah. So God help me. I didn't fit into this meal of today. I don't want to lie. If I was coming here like having something that was really great in my stomach or coming here fully, I'm telling you, I would have a long time for my chair. I'm telling you, it would have been end of the show. After the rather challenging fish sauce, Mandelaki is happy to add coconut milk. I think it, it, would, it would have been pretty easy for me if, if I have saw this dish before. How do it look like? I think our meal will be ready to go. All right, ladies. It uh, hasn't been too long, but are you ready to eat? We really. Very ready. ready. Uh, the smell wafting oh, through the house, familiar? Divine, divine. It does smell like it should. Okay. Uh, Karis, does it smell like mom's? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I see you putting something there. What's that? Name tag. So everyone's got their own name tag. Oh, wow. So, so you have a guest chef, but the local party planner. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good, good. All right, so we're going to taste it now. Uh, what do you, just from the couple of times you were in when he used his lifeline, your thoughts on how he's doing? No, I think he's doing very well considering he's never ever, I don't think he's even had a Thai curry before. And now he's cooking it for the first time in his life. So he's not really, I mean, he's out of his depth, but I think he's done a great job. All right. So oh. we'll, we'll have to taste it now and decide. So the look is okay for you? Yeah, it's looking like it should. The smell is okay? Mm, it's beautiful. All that's left is the taste. Let's do it. Good. I'll call him. Sure. Bro, Mandy, you've, uh, you've survived quite a... A challenging cook, it looks like. Uh, yes. Do you feel like your food is ready? Yes, yes. I think it's it's ready. We spoke about plating when we spoke the, when I met you the first time, but in this case, the colours are already in it. Yeah. So it's actually a fairly it's, it's simple actually, plating. Or what? It's actually, it's actually a totally different thing for me. Are you looking forward to having the meal? <laughs> I can say so then, there, but yeah. Is it a bit strong, or is it a different taste, strange flavour? It's a different culture, like different altogether. Culture. It's, it's not something I was expecting, like I'll meet, like in in this lifetime. I thought maybe when I'm traveling. Well, you, you, now, you've brought Thailand to us. Hey, 
<laughs> so for me, I hope it will be Thailand, not Taiwan. You see, <laughs> but right. I'm str I'm, I'm struggling to cook with the with the smell. I couldn't stand the smell of the of the meal. Please, I'm sorry to say that, but I couldn't. I've tried by all means, but now nah, it didn't sit well with me in my stomach. Strength to you. Plate it up and let's see what they say. I'm supposed to be relaxed, but I'm still nervous. I wish someone can dish up for me this meal. Yeah. The echo of the, of the plate, it's important for me. <sighs> Who would have thought, like, I'll meet Caribbean food? <sighs> Mandelake takes a moment amidst the strange flavors and prepares to plate. Okay. We're going to dish up now. that is coming here, I'm telling you. This is my one, and I also don't want the sauce. <laughs> okay. Let me clean up my plates. He stays focused, despite the unexpected difficulty with the unfamiliar smells. You guys, I don't want to this sit well with me in the stomach. Yeah. I really struggle a lot in the pot because the smell, as I've said, it didn't sit well with me, so I, I don't want to lie. It was hard for me in that kitchen. As you can see, guys, I'm ready to serve. I like to think that we're going to be very fair. We watch a lot of these cooking programs and some of the couples are so vindictive and it's so ridiculous. We're not going to be like that. We're going to be fair, but it, at the same time, it must be cooked like we can cook it. I'm coming. Oh, we're ready for you. In my culture, like the plates are Starting with the father of the house. Yeah, then so. carry on with your culture. The father of the house won't complain, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> he will be very happy. I think he'll add Ooh, that. that. Oh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful daughter. And now the chef. <laughs> are you scared Is that all to that's eat left? <laughs> hey, are you scared to eat No, it? I have to dish up for the family because since it's their favorite uh -huh. meal, so okay. I have to be reasonable. And that's also, that's it's my first time, so I don't know. How will it sit with me? You we like, like chopsticks. chopsticks. And you like to do this meal with chopsticks? Yeah. All right. I like to eat anything Asian with chopsticks. I do think my husband might be the the most strict of the judges. Very good. And what do you think of it, Mike? Um, I think it was challenging because the first time like I've seen on the recipe and also the method, I thought, wow, how am I going to pull this out? My husband, if I cook for him, we've always got to add extra. He just loves the heat. He's got to have heat in every single meal. But I like it a little bit toned down. And of course, with my daughter, she doesn't like the chili much. So we've got to add that after the fact. Cook this, she'll have the rice and then maybe we'll just do like a stir fry without the, the chili. But I said she must try it tonight. So it's not your cooking. Don't worry. No, I it's, like it, but it's you've even got yeah, Man! What did you put there? Like... Bro! I don't even go in trouble with water, so that's why you're like... Yeah, this thing is hot! Yeah, man! What did you put there? Like... Bro! This thing is hot! This is good, it's like Samp. Sampy rice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the rice could have been... Uh, it could have been less... Soggy. It wasn't bad. It was certainly edible, but it was a good first attempt. It really was. Now what you must do, you must take some cremora. Yeah, put this recipe, put this recipe on some on some chicken, and then go back, take it home, and make some umrush with this Thai paste. I'm telling you, it's Ooh. a new thing. Samp and red curry chicken. I like that idea. No, I think it's very important to always try new things. Because it's all about learning. You see, so it's all about learning. He, he didn't uh, want to touch his own food, so I don't know if he's going to take this home and want to cook it for his family. If you are willing to try new, new things, go for it. If not, don't. Please, I'm not disappointing you. So that's, that's all I'm going to say. Mandy, thank you so much for cooking for me tonight. Thank you for letting me do my magic in your kitchen. Yeah, thank you. You did make magic. And I've got a gift for you. Oh my for wonder. your kitchen. For my kitchen. Do you know what that is? I know, I know. <laughs> oh, that means I gave you a hard time to to use the okay, no okay. More old school no meshing. more old school meshing there's, with there's the fork. Something else in there as well. Let's see, let's see. 
Oh wow, the pillar. <laughs> the pillar, and that's a fancy the pillar. one. Oh, I see. It's I see. a nice one. Thank you, Jane. Thank you so much. So if I come so visit you, don't let me find you. Can't nah, use nah. it enough. Eh? You, no, you won't. You won't. Even my aunt won't struggle anymore. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank you for the gift. I appreciate it. I one day you'll see me on that chef's jacket. I'll have my own. Maybe it will it will be written maybe the way I'm studying, or it will be written my name. But you'll see that that chef jacket. The, if this I win this competition, it will open a door for me because it will be great on my CV. If I win this competition, I have to enlighten people that who have ability to cook that. Look, whatever, it's worth a try. The scores are in, and the winner is Mr. Mandilake. He's the winner. <laughs> Wow, guys! Hey! hey. Did, you, did you think you could do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's real! It's real! Look, it's real! It's yours! Did you think you, still, you had a chance? Yeah! Yeah! I think the chances of it were maybe 50% that I had a chance or 60% but I don't know. No. Have you got some list of things or are you going to make a list? Uh, no, I didn't want to make, make a list. You! Yeah. I don't know. Because in our, in our culture, <laughs> you can't count your chicken before uh, the edges. Yeah. So I didn't. So I have to now, I'll start maybe thinking about what I'll do with the money, but I'll probably start with something so, so you can't count your chicken before they've hatched? Before they hatch. Your yes, chicken, yes. it's hatching now. It's hatching. <laughs> It's a chicken when I have. It's, it's a country range chicken. It's hatching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.